Unfortunately, I don't have any editing software right now. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sharon Miss Prime here doing my first review of 2011 with my very favorite Marvel legend of all time, the Build-A-Figure Sentinel. Uh, there's going to be another Sentinel uh, coming out later this year, so I figured, hey, why not review this one? And uh, I got my editing software back, so why not, um, you know, start off with uh, something that I really like. Uh, I do have a few complaints about this guy. Oh, the tentacles don't really stay so well inside his hands. I'll get into that later. This guy is just massive and just really impressive. He's only built a figure I've actually bought three times. And big thanks to Rodine for hooking that up. What I really like what they did here is that they based the artwork off of Mark, Sil Mark Silvestri's um, Sentinel or Rover anyway. So here's a look at that really quick. So you can see that, and then get a closer look at the Sentinel right here. He's a huge fucking figure, just really, really cool. I like the design of him. I'm going to give you some wicked size comparisons so you can, guys can get an idea of, of how tall he is. So he stands at about 16 inches tall, right, around here. And here he stands next to the Marvel Universe Colossus, the Marvel Legends Quicksilver, which is a very average size Marvel Legends figure, and then the Marvel Legends Colossus right over here. So there he is compared with the Marvel Legends Galactus and the Marvel Legends Giant Man. And there he is comparing to uh, the Build-A-Figure Apocalypse and the Build-A-Figure Fin Fang Foom. Even though I don't have a uh, Marvel Universe Galactus out of package, this gives you an idea of how big that fucking Marvel Universe Galactus is, so there you go. So the paint on this guy and the sculpt is just amazing. I just love the way this came out. The whole thing has this really cool silver dry brush throughout the whole thing. I just think it's really, really fucking awesome. Really choice of paint colors. Uh, he's got a lot of purple and this navy blue and, um, and this copper kind of color brown. You know, or it's more of a copper color. I like the detail in the center right there. That's neat. It's actually textured differently in the very middle of it right there. So I think that's very, very cool. The whole thing kind of has this little bit of a rough feel to it. There's his face. Look how the green eyes came out. A lot of details in that face for, as far as the sculpt goes. Really cool paint too. I just love how you can see the, the brush strokes and everything on here. These scratch marks. And on all parts of it, you know, you can see these paint brush strokes. Just the detail on this is amazing. Love the dif difference in texture right here. There's a lot of variations in textures, and the fingers look amazing. These are cool. When you take these out, they look like pretty awesome blasts. Oh, I actually glued this one in there. I <laughs> love how it's got a different sculpt, sculpted finish right here. The wiring and stuff. This is just amazing detail, man. You can really imagine this thing walking around and shit. It's just really, really cool. Even on the legs, all these different pieces here put together. And the articulation of them is pretty cool. Um, but another point I want to drive home that's so neat about this thing <clears throat> is that there's a difference between the paint jobs and the Sentinels that I have. Uh, so each Sentinel is just slightly painted differently. So here's the top of the head of the first one. Number two. Number three. One. Two. Three. One, two, three. As far as articulation goes, it's a little disappointing that his head doesn't really move up, but I guess you don't really need it to. I was kind of hoping it would move up so you can get him into some flight poses, but it's kind of hard to do. Moves down just a little bit, so that's cool. He can be looking down at the mutants. Moves side to side just fine. Um, he's got these flaps right here that are on a hinge, so you can move him up and everything to get him out of the way. God, I love how that looks. He has this ball joint right here. Another thing about this that kind of sucks is that the limbs do pop off kind of easily. So it rotates up and down. Bicep swivel. Double, it's got double jointed elbows. And the wrist moves side to side. Up and down a little bit. Um, he's got thumb articulation, which is fucking sweet. 
think that is sick and individual finger articulation and it's the same way on both sides very very cool he's got this uh, diaphragm joint right here the torso can also move forward and back very well plus a waist joint he's got ball jointed legs okay thigh swivel double jointed knees and the ankle doesn't move that well it doesn't really move up and down or side to side very well love the detail at the bottom of the feet that is sick I just think this whole thing just a shitload of work went into this so the way this thing comes out is that each arm comes with its own tentacle and in the wave is also Omega Red but Omega Red comes with his own two tentacles so you don't have to sacrifice tentacles for uh, you know for your sentinel and these you know are made of bendy wire I have one that actually did break in the middle of it somewhere but even the paint job on these things and the detail and sculpt in this is fucking awesome I just think that's cool but a bummer about it is that you know the part where it connects right here this little white plastic tip thing doesn't always really fit so well into his hand I mean it's kind of like sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't depending on which hand and depending on which sentinel you're using it's kind of a bit so I don't know it, it it'll work but as you can see in my picture right here he can even hold up uh, you know Marvel Legends Like, you can wrap him around a Marvel Legend and he'll hold him, so that's really, really cool. Okay, overall, I just think he's just an amazing figure, and I'm looking forward to the Marvel Universe Sentinel. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to pick it up or not, but I just think this thing is so amazing, man. I mean, just look at this guy. He's amazing. I, I don't know. I can't stress that enough how, think, how fucking cool I think this guy is. All right, that's my review, and I hope you guys like it. I'll catch you later.